Hello guys, welcome to this video. In this video, I'll be discussing about the Onyx design principles. So as I've already discussed what is Onyx and why we use Onyx. So it is not only supported in uh, deep learning, it also supports the traditional machine learning. As of now, I have discussed with the deep learning just, but when it was designed, so it was designed for the deep learning only. But when many companies started uh, to contribute to this Onyx ecosystem, at the time, they came up with the traditional machine learning also. So now Onyx also supports this traditional machine learning. So if you are already working with this machine learning, and if you are training a model uh, with, a, you can say any machine learning algorithm, so you can easily convert that machine learning model to the Onyx model. And it is also flexible with rapid advances. So as you already know, this TensorFlow, PyTorch, Keras, Scikit-learn, what are the framework we use in our deep learning or machine learning solution? They are being upgraded continuously. So for tracking that version, Onyx is also flexible enough because it tracks each and every update of your framework. And with respect to that, it also upgrades itself. So like that, it has been very popular to every framework. And it is also compact and cross-platform representation for serialization. And it is a standardized list of well-defined operation informed by real-world use cases. By using Onyx, you are solving real-world use cases. How? Because here you are using different kinds of framework and you are trying to convert that model to another framework. If you have your Onyx model, you don't have to worry about your system. You don't have to worry about your hardware. You don't have to worry about your framework. So once you have your Onyx model, you can export and import anywhere and you can start predicting. So this is the advantage gives the Onyx. So Onyx specification, as I've already discussed, it is not only supported for deep learning, it is also supported for the machine learning. So yes, this was all about from this video and I will be coming up with a new topic in our next video. So thank you so much.